Uh, hello guys, today, um, we're gonna, oh, also new location, if, if you wanna know more about it, I did a little, a, t a short little channel update a bit ago, um, it's on the channel pretty recently, so, so if you're curious about, like, stuff, just check out that playlist, um, so, but today, though, we're gonna talk about Shutter Island, um, this movie is really interesting, I saw this with Corey on Halloween night, but um, but I'm doing it here because even though it's a scary movie, it's not necessarily tied to Halloween, so it gets a pass. Um, so a little bit about this movie. Um, it was released in 2010. It's rated R, so no kids. Um, it is two hours and 18 minutes long. It has 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb, with about 1.2 million-ish votes. It has um, let's see what's on Metacritic here. Where is that number? Oh yeah, 63, 63 on Metacritic with about 530 critics. It's directed by Martin Scorsese of the Goodfellas fame. It stars uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who was in, I don't know, a ton of stuff. Um, Jingle and Chain. And Mark Ruffalo, who was in the the in the Avengers movie. Um, the, the movie is also on Rotten Tomatoes. It has... 68% by critics with 260 critics and 77% by audience about 250,000 ish audience people the critics consensus on Ron Tomatoes is it may not rank with Scorsese's best work but Shutter Island gleefully unapologetic Island's gleefully unapologetic genre thrills represent the director at his most unrestrained <laughs> um just watch so the movie is available to stream on Netflix and AMC Plus, which is through Amazon Prime. Um, the movie movie is also available to rent and buy on Amazon, Google Play, Apple TV, Vudu, Microsoft Store, Redbox, um, AMC On Demand, Direct TV, and it's available to rent only on what's this one? Um, Spectrum On Demand. Okay. Um, and the movie was released on DVD in 2010. So, whew. <laughs> uh, the old back <laughs> old age but um but yeah the movie is really good um score this is really i haven't seen every score crazy movie ever made i am like for example i haven't seen adventures in Tint with tintin or whatever but but i've seen a good chunk of his work he's one of the early directors i discovered with watching films so i'm very familiar with his style and, and everything and this is the most against type for him he's ever been. I mean, Adventures in Tintin might be up there with that, but but the thing with Adventures with Tintin, though, even though I haven't seen it, is I think the only difference is that is that the different the difference with the way that movie is based on my guesswork is I I do know that he wanted to make it because he wanted to make something that his grandkids can watch. In a watch, so I know there's that. I don't know why he does the things he does in Shutter Island. There's really, it's so weird, I watch this movie, I'm like, you know what, there's not really a lot of Scorsese stuff in this, traits in this. The only real notable one is the fact that it's a period piece, so you have his eye of detail of period pieces like he does in his gangster movies. And of course, swearing. Um, but outside of that, it's like, it's really weird. It's like, it, it's like, this, you can, I could tell that, that he wanted to do a movie that was, against everything he established as his identity and every artist needs to do that at some point because they have all these opposition artistic thoughts that they th think about exploring but they never get a chance to because they kind of get locked into what they've already established for themselves so they need that one time to get it out of their system to know that if it's something they want to truly pursue or if it was just something that they just want to be one and done with i think Shutter island was one of those movies now I haven't really looked at his filmography, but I have to say that I've seen, a, I've probably looked at it in the past, and I think this is technically his lowest rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes in his filmography, which is 68. Like, mostly he's certified fresh with all his movies. And he, he his library isn't that huge. I mean, he typically doesn't, like, crank out movies left and right. But he doesn't exactly, he's, he doesn't exactly, like, do so many, he turn he gives a bunch of shit nuggets so this is really interesting it's a really interesting movie um i think what i do love about this movie my one of my favorite things about this movie is that 
it, this movie was released 11 years ago, but its story and elements holds up super well today it, it, because those story and elements are very popular in horror games. Like guys, YouTubers like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, um, Cub Scouts even. They play a lot of those kind of, like a lot of those horror games. Like those kind of horror games they play. This movie is kind of like a live action version of those kind of games to some extent. Um, the movie is a horror film, but it borderlines more thriller. But it's really, it is trippy and it has, it has, it's a really good storytelling. It is based on a book. So that's an important thing to note there. Um, I and oh man, this to be honest, me and Corey both love this movie. Um, it, it it's very atmospheric. It's well, I, everything's well done. The only thing that's a slight issue, and I noticed this with when I was reading reviews, is that was, a lot of people thought the movie was too long. And to be honest, I almost agree a little bit because there was a point in the movie where I'm like, okay, this is getting it feels like it's getting close to the end, and there's still like an hour left. I'm like, oh wow. Um, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, it, I will admit, I would, I think, I think they could have maybe cut like another like 10, 15 minutes out, and I think it would have been okay, but maybe five to 10, but minimum. But to be honest, I, I, it, you're only really noticed it when you get to a certain point. I ain't necessarily in the movie, but in the story where you're just like, okay, what, where is this gonna go? It's kind of interesting. There's a lot of like interesting elements, like the move, and and there is like some shift gear moments in it where it's like, okay, we're going to like this point. Um, of course, I'm not gonna give away any spoilers, but I will say, um, really good movie. There is like towards, the, I mean, there is like a really heartbreaking scene in this movie that that really got to me a little bit, just a little bit, like the way movies should. Um. But yeah, it's a really, really good movie. Leonardo DiCaprio, is, he's fantastic and really, I don't think he's ever done a bad performance. He's one of those actors that like he gives 110 in every movie he's in no matter what. Hell, I don't even think he's been in a movie that's been brought in, if anything. You think he's always been in something that's been certified fresh or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's this is a really solid movie. I do recommend it for sure. Um, I will say this is definitely on the thriller side. There are horror elements in it that work really well, especially horror video game elements. But keep in mind that this is definitely more on the thriller side a little bit. So be careful on that. I, the trailer itself, I did see the, watch the trailer before me and Corey decided to watch it. It does make it seem like there are some horror elements in it, in it and there is. But there are, it's definitely thriller side. And, and you know what? I definitely, it it, left, it did leave me kind of thinking about things towards the end about the story and questions and what if. So it's a, it's really good. Scorsese did really well with this. I just think it, it was really low. One, because it was a little bit on the long side. And and to be honest, it's so different from Scorsese's other work. is Because the trick with when you do something, when you break away from the formula, if the formula is super successful and it, nobody gets tired of it and it's perfect, look perfect if you do a completely different one you run the risk of encountering problems that like issues with filmmaking with making a good movie that you really haven't really dealt with because you found the formula and you stuck with it for so long that some of those some of those little things they kind of sneak in because you're not used to looking for them or you're only used to looking for certain little things and not other little things or something like that. So that's probably what happened with this movie. Because that's really my only real thing with this movie is that it does feel a bit long. I mean, what you cut in a film, I couldn't tell you for the life of me unless I watch it more than another time or two. But, but like, full-on analysts of it. But to be honest, I just think... I think, I think this is one of those movies that... Two hours and 18 minutes. I mean, if you take out seven minutes of credits, two hours like an 11 or something like that. I mean, most movies are about that length, but to be honest, if they did cut like... I don't know what they would cut. Some little things, but but to be honest, I think the movie w moved at a decent pace. I mean, and I will... I don't want to say it feels like two movies because it doesn't, but there are there is a time in the second half where you could tell that shit changed a bit so keep that in mind that 
that this movie is great. I think this movie is great, but I also will admit that if it has 68% and like 77% or something like that, there's probably a reason for it. And if you can't see it, then that's that's great. But if you do see it, there's a reason why you see it because it's there. <laughs> um, and other people have noticed too. Now, granted, th those things I mentioned are pretty nitpicky. In all honesty, I I still think the length is the only one thing that could be considered a minor issue, but an issue nonetheless. But I still think it's a solid movie. And if you love Scorsese, but you want to watch something of his that's not this, uh, a similar to it, everything he's done, this is a great one to check out for sure. I mean, Ventures and Tintin, I mean, the numbers for that one are much better than this, but I haven't seen it. And it's aimed for kids, so I, I get that maybe not everyone wants to get into that. But, but yeah, overall, this is a really solid movie. I definitely recommend it for sure. And, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Definitely check it out. It's still streaming. I mean, yeah, it's a it, it's a good one to watch for sure. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I mean, in case you want to chat with me, Mike, or anyone else at the Campy Company, don't want to use the YouTube comment section. We do have a couple options. First one is we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a discussion tab on our channel as well. You can access that through a PC or a laptop computer. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.